This is Digital by Computing. Today we're going to talk about how to create a new storage pool on a Dell EMC Unity SAN. All right, so we're going to assume that you've already configured the storage device on the network, that it's available on the network, that it's got an IP address, it's available uh, via a host name. So we're going to open up a web browser and connect into the backend storage device itself via the IP address. So here we are in the storage area on our Unity. So right in here is where we can configure the storage pools, the blocks, the file, and some, some VMware configuration settings as well. You see that I've already created a pool in the past. This is called pool underscore 01 with a size of six terabytes. And you'll show, you can see a percentage graph there of how much is used and how much is free. So obviously in the very first case, you need to create yourself a storage pool to be able to then go and create a LUN and then present that LUN out to a particular system such as a VMware ESXi host. So it's assumed that you've already done the iSCSI initiators, whether you're using iSCSI or fiber channel zoning if you're using fiber channel. So we're assuming that there is connectivity between your SAN and between your VMware or Citrix or um, Hyper-V hosts in this scenario. So let's go ahead and create a brand new pool. All right, so I'm in, this, in the pool section right here, I'm gonna click on the plus to launch the create pool wizard. Let's give the pool a name. So we're gonna call it pool underscore 02. You can give it a description. You can give it a bit more description than what uh, I've put in there. And then different sorts of tiers. So in my case, I've got all the same speed disks. So mine is gonna be the performance tier. But you'll see just here that's grayed out is SAS flash. Uh, so if you've got flash-based disk, SSDs, uh, and the near line size, which is slower disk, standard uh, SATA disks really, um, than uh, your standard SAS. So you'll see that I've got currently unused drives a seven with a total capacity of just over 11 terabytes. So uh, if you can't select anything in here, it means you do not have sufficient disks to be able to go and create your pool. So you need to have sufficient disks in your SAN first to be able to go and create the pool. So we're gonna go and select performance tier and then I've got a few different options down here. I can actually go and change this. So it's already uh, estimated that to create this pool based on these seven unused disks, it's going to create a RAID 5 configuration, which is a four plus one disks, okay? Maximum usable capacity will be 6.4 terabytes. So I can click on here and select change. There are a few different options on here uh, around RAID 5, RAID 6, and RAID 1.0. Uh, and I can go ahead here and change some stuff, but you'll see that because I don't have enough disks, I can't create a eight plus one or a 12 plus one um, in this configuration. Because if you can remember, I've got seven disks maximum. So the minimum is gonna be 4.4 plus one. So to be able to create an eight plus one, I need nine disks, which I don't have, I've only got seven. Likewise, I can't create a six plus two because that equals eight disks. So the only option that I've got available to me in this configuration is a RAID 5. Uh, we're not gonna cover the different types of RAID and which one would be better. Uh, we hope that you already know that, but in this case, we're just gonna create a standard RAID 5 configuration under SAS disks, which are gonna be using, oh, well, the seven unused, but it's going to be using five disks in total for a total of 6.4 terabytes. It's gonna use five of my seven drives in total. We're not gonna be using this in this scenario, so we're gonna leave this blank, unticked. And then just a summary of what's going to be happening. Okay, four plus one, five disks in total in a RAID 5 with a total of 6.4 terabytes. No fast cache enabled. In, that, in our case, I don't have any flash-based disks, so I can't do that anyway and then finish. That will now go and create my new storage pool. It may take a little bit of time because essentially it's just creating that RAID group, creating that pool, and then that pool will be completely empty. Uh, I then need to assign something inside of that pool once that is done. All right, so that is now done. You see that in here, I've now got pool 02 with a total size of 6.4 terabytes 
and it's 0% used. Now it's not used because I haven't actually created anything within the pool. Think about the pool just as a, a container. Uh, so I need to go and create a LAN or a volume to add into that pool. So that is how you create a storage pool. So there you have it, that is my overview. I hope you found this helpful. There's definitely a lot of stuff that uh, you can go into on the storage device. If you want to know more, let me know. We've also got a whole bunch of other videos that talk about SAN and NASs um, of various types and the different technologies associated with those, as well as a whole bunch of other technology videos across my Digital Bike Computing YouTube channel. Either way, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me as well to keep updated on my new videos as they get released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.